Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. The Mercury will be reaching high levels today in this matchup between the Boston College Eagles and the Seminoles of Florida State. It's still early in the season, but these two ACC teams are ready to go. Here come the Seminoles. The Eagles look like they're going to get killed out there. What do you think? The same thing, Kirk? Florida State has so many weapons offensively, but it all starts with their outstanding quarterback. Now, against this defense, I look for him to have no problem spreading the ball around. This could be a career day. i got to go with the favorite in this one. I'm taking the nose. Well, Lee, we're about to find out how right you are. Let's join the captains and the referee at midfield for the coin toss brought to you by Coke. Florida State is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. And this one's away. Smith from his own end zone. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. Today we get to watch a very talented quarterback direct the offense. The head coach mentioned earlier in the week how important it is for him to have a good game. There's no doubt about it. He needs to play well today, but it's not going to be easy. He's going up against a very good set of corners. You can have the corners, Kirk. I'll take this quarterback in this matchup any day of the week. He's a proven leader, and he won't let his team down. They line up at the 14. Second and 14. The Eagles line up with three wide. Hartman hands it off straight ahead. Tackle at the 15-yard line. Evans gains about a yard on the play. They line up at the 15. It's third and 13. Washington College lines up with three receivers. Hartman is sacked. They were bringing a heavy rush on that one. Brad, that's what happens if the quarterback holds the ball too long, waiting for his receivers to get open. is back deep to return. He gets it off. Spin move. Holland takes it to 47. We'll get a chance to see if this offense can fare any better than the counterparts. Excellent field position to start the drive. At the 41 yard line. First and 10. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. Give to the tailback. With the spin, he jukes, and he's tackled in the open field. A 10-yard gain. From the 31-yard line, it's second and inches. Florida State. Sets up in the eye. Holland gets the ball. He's tackled at the 27. A good carry for the first down. You guys know I like running players with the lead block. But if they can run consistently like they are right now, it doesn't matter how they're blocking it. As long as they block, they're going to make yards. As long as it's within the rules of the game, right, Lee? First, First down, ten. 10 to go. Yeah. Cut. 
Drops back on first down. Surveys the field. Let's it fly. And he's tackled at the 21-yard line. Well, Coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. Second, and second down and four to go. Ball on the 21. Holland lines up in the deep back. I formation. He spins. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. Holland gets about a yard on the play. Third, Third down. Three. Ball on the 20-yard line. The Knowles set up in the gun. Scott on the option. And he shoved out of bounds at the 11. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Another reason why I love the option. Just when you think he's going to pitch it, he cuts up the field and keeps the ball himself. No question, Coach. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. And here they are in the red zone. These numbers tell a story of success. Once they get down here, you can count on one thing. They're going to put points up on the board. They'll bring in their dime package. Holland gets the call again. Tries to juke. Touchdown, Florida State. That was a fantastic touchdown run by the halfback. This guy looks very impressive. When he has the ball in his hands, these things always seem to happen. And they're lining up for the PAT. And he converts the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive somewhere. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He boots it deep downfield. Smith fields it in the end zone. You gotta know where you are on the field. There was no reason to run that one out. Just catch it and take a knee. It's the only way to guarantee that your offense will start on the 20. They'll get the ball here at the 14 yard line. At the 14 yard line. First and 10. Hartman comes to the line with three wide. Evan on the handoff. And down he goes at the 15. A one yard gain by the halfback. Second it's and second nine. and nine. Ball, Ball on the 15-yard line. Yeah. The sellout crowd is really making a difference now as these guys can't even call the play. Hartman will hand it off. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Evan gains around three yards on the run, so that'll make it third down. Third, Third down, six, six to go. Ball, ball on their own 18. Boston College comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Rolls right, and it's incomplete. Well, that brings up the punting situation. I'll tell you what, this defense did a heck of a job that time to hold them to three and out. Four and six. Here comes the punter oh, looking to boot this one away. Taylor awaits the snap. He gets it away. Holland fields at 46. Holland loses it. Recovered by the defense. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. They'll take over at the 47. They line up in an eye. Yeah. On the goose, on the goose. Cut. Scott drops back. Looking, rifles this one out to the left. It's caught one-handed. 
Excellent recognition by the quarterback to pick up the blitz and get the ball off in time. On the next level, one of the things you've got to be able to do is read when the blitz is coming. And that play shows that he's on his way of being ready for the big leagues. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. That is ball. And that was a crucial defensive play in the end zone. From the nine-yard line, it's second and goal. Florida State sets up in the eye. Give to the tailback. Bounces off the would-be tackler. Good open field tackle. A gain of eight on the carry. Third and from the one-yard line. On the one yard it's line. third down. Again, he'll get the call. Martin brings him down for a loss. And the blitz might have caused that one. Well, the defense took a chance here. They overloaded that side of the ball, and the tailback had nowhere to go. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Florida State, 7. Boston College, nothing. So it's fourth down. Goal. This one's ball from 19, ball. just like kicking an extra point. McKeon can make it a two-score game. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive somewhere. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He sends it downfield. Evan fields it at the two. Good coverage by the kicking team. Yeah, beautiful job of playing their assignments there. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics. Brought to you by Coke. Evan, the lone back. on the inside handoff. There was just no daylight on that play, and the defensive lineman was the reason. Well, that's one way to get involved in the game. Great stop in the backfield. Second, Second 10. 10. Ball on the 13. The Eagles line up with four wideouts. the 11-yard line. They'll line up at the 11. It's third down. Boston College goes with the ace set here. Moves up in the pocket. Hartman gets taken down for the sack. There's nothing stopping the defense from getting sacked there. It's tough for a quarterback to throw the football when he has that kind of rush coming at him. Boston College, ready to put this one away. Taylor is waiting for the snap. He gets it off. Holland fields it to 46. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. The Seminole line up with a single set backfield. Scott drops to throw. He darts it over the middle. He's tackled at the 17. Good pick up by the receiver. Yeah, this kid loves to play. He wants to ball every time they throw it up.
pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. They line up in an eye. He looks to throw on first down. Looks, throws it to the outside. Touchdown, Seminole. Guys, the coaches have got to be happy with that. Yeah, you know they are. Anytime a play works to perfection like that one did, you know they're smiling. Just watching this receiver and quarterback play together is a treat. They're a great combo. They line up for the extra point. And he hits the PAT. Over three minutes remain in the second quarter, and the score is Florida State 17, Boston College nothing. Florida State lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off. Evans fields it at the seven. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll take over down the 10 to go. Yard line. First and 10. Boston College comes out with an eye formation. Evans gets the ball. And they make the stop at the 29-yard line. That run picks up a yard, maybe less. Second, Second down. Ball on the 29-yard line. Florida State brings in the nickel here. Hartman with the give. Davis brings him down at the 31-yard line. Evan picks up two yards with a carry. Third and seven. seven. All the 31. 31 yard. Evan is the single setback. Hartman with the option. He laterals the ball. He spins around. Oh, man, did he take a hit. They don't pick up the first on that play. Brad, that defense is saying, not so fast, my friend. You're not going to run that ball that easy. Four, four, four. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Holland is back to receive. He punts it. Holland fields it at the 27. Pick up some good solid yardage on that return. Yo, that's not good for the old net punting average either. Got a first and ten. High formation here. Scott hands it off. He spins around. Tackle at the 44. A nice six-yard gain by the tailback there. Second down, four yards to go. They line up in an eye. Holland gets another hand. Tackle made at midfield. First down on the run there. Let me tell you something. That was a good play. But you got to try to conserve some clock there. No question. You're in an obvious hurry up mode. You got to get to the outside and get out of bounds. First, First ten. down, 10 to Ball go. On the 50 Ball yard 50. Run. They're in the eye. Scott looking to throw on first down. He throws left. Got it to him on the run. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. That's one of the things that can happen if the defense brings extra guys to rush the quarterback. The offense will have favorable matchups to get the ball downfield. And this kid is talented enough to see those receivers. It's not easy to get the ball past those big bulldozers when they're flying right at you. Florida State sets up in the eye. Scott with the give. Spins up field. Broke away from one. Look at the power. They'll bring him down at the 20. 
So they keep it on the ground, and they get their third first down of the drive. Yeah, this is a pretty good-looking drive, don't you think, Coach? Yes, sir. The offense is in rhythm right now. They are running well and blocking well. And they're wearing down this defense. The longer a drive goes, the more the advantage goes to the offense. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. Scott hands it off straight ahead. Roberts tackles him at the 10. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running line. When you break one like that, you've got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. First down and goal to go. They're threatening inside the 20. This impact tailback would love nothing more than to have the ball in his hands right now. And he's got it for the touchdown. The pass was right on target and goes for six. Man, that was a bullseye of a pass. And it left his hand in a real big hurry. And they line up for the point after. And he tacks on the extra point. Down to just a few seconds left here before the half. And our score, Florida State 24, Boston College nothing. Florida State ready to kick this one off. Evans and Smith set to return. Kicks it away. Evans from his own end zone. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Yeah, the offense wasn't clicking on their last possession. We'll see if they have things figured out on this next drive. They'll, They'll go to work at the 18-yard line. First and 10. Hartman with three wide receivers. Hartman with the give. Tackle at the 20-yard line. Evan comes away with two yards on the carry. from their own 20-yard line. It's second down. The Eagles line up in an I formation. We still have a half left to play, but right now, they've got this thing under control. Our score, Florida State, 24. Boston College, nothing. We're ready to start the second half. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He kicks it off. Hawkins has it at the five. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll, They'll set up shot at the, at the 22. 22 yard line. First and 10. Scott comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. Surveys the field. Pressure coming. And they got him. It's second down. Ball on the nine-yard line. Florida State comes out of the shotgun. He's looking. Throwing right. His receiver has it. Boy, did he zip that ball in there. Yeah, you're right. There's not a whole lot of quarterbacks out there that can make this throw. He delivers this one right where it has to be. Great arm strength. Third, Third and 12. 12 yards to go. Ball on, the ball on their own 20. Boston College lines up in a dime defense here. Looking to throw. Across the middle, finds his receiver. Tackle made at the 37-yard line. Wow, how about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed.
for the boys of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. Three wide outs here. Scott looking to throw on first down. Throws it out there, and he brings it down. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. Yeah, the defense came after them, and those linemen held them long enough for the quarterback to throw for a first down. First, first and 10. ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. The Seminole go with the eye formation. With the spin. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. And that's their third first down of the drive. Great blocking and great running equals very successful offense. And they've looked really good on this drive, Coach. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. First down, 10 to go. First and 10. On the 26-yard line. On the 26-yard line. Holland is the deep back as they line up in the eye. At the 24, a yard, maybe two on the carry. From the 24-yard line, in second and eight. The Knolls line up in an I formation. He didn't get much on that play at all. Brad, the defense had that play read and sealed it off from the get-go. Third. This defense ten. faces another third down. Yeah. Going with the shotgun here. Cut. Option left. Smith brings him down at the 18-yard line. A nice pickup of about eight yards. Have a look at our Old Spice red zone numbers. Red zone, when performance matters most. The Seminole go with the eye formation. He'll get the call again. They get in, touchdown. He got the handoff and knew exactly what to do with it. They like the fact that they have a halfback who can pick his way so well through defense. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. Splits the uprights with the extra point. That score leads us to our Pontiac drive summer. They line up to kick this one away. And it's off. Smith fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. The this drive will start at the 20-yard line. At the 20-yard line. First and 10. Hartman lines up in the shotgun. Hartman drops back to pass. Someone got a hand on it. Schmidt with the tackle at the 25-yard line. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. The Eagles set up in the gun. They snap it to the back, and they make the stop at the 26-yard line. Evan picks up a yard on the play. Third it's third and four. Defense! 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 
The Eagle come out of the shotgun. He's going right. And it's caught. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. Whoa, that was close. The defense thought they held him there. Well, the offense only right, got the first, first down, down by about a yard. Oh, I'm sure they'll be happy with a new line. set of downs. Florida State brings in their nickel package. They'll keep it on the ground again. That's a loss of four yards. They line up at the 27. It's second down now, 14 to go. The defense sets up in the nickel. Looks to pass. He throws. He's tackled in the open field. Did you see what I saw there, Coach? I don't know. It looked like to me that he just got beaten man-to-man -man cover. He sure did. These guys are going to have to do a better job of locking down their man and preventing passes like that. Washington College goes with the ace set here. He lets it go. Incomplete. Just out of reach of his tight end. Second down. Ball on the 41 yard line. Boston College comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. Drives to Juke. Brought down at the 49. Pretty nice run there by the halfback. Yeah, he wasn't phased at all by the blitz. He just found the hole and picked up some good yardage. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Boston College goes with the ace set here. Throwing left. How about that pass, fellas? Well, Brad, the defense was coming with the blitz, and that opened some room for these guys to get open. Yeah, and if you're coming with the blitz, you better get to this quarterback. Otherwise, he'll make it pay. Here's the offensive production statistics, sponsored by Coca-Cola. The Knolls line up in a nickelback. Hartman on first down. He'll dump this one off. And that and one's fallen incomplete. Match. Scott was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it second down. Right. They line up 10. at the 34. Ball Ball the 30 second down. Line. Boston College comes to the line with three wide. Hands it to the back. Jones tackles him at the 33-yard line. Evan. Picks up a yard on the play. Third They've been two for two on third downs of this drive. They'll try to convert again here. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Incomplete pass. The Swords pass, and his tight end couldn't reach it. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Hartman with three wide receivers. He steps up. He heaves it deep. Davis. Can't bring it in. And they stopped him again, Coach. This defense hasn't let up at all with the score the way it is. No way. This defense takes pride in what they do out there. They don't care how much they're winning by. They're just trying to keep the other guys out of the end zone. They'll at the 33-yard line. First and 10. They come out with three wide receivers on the ground with a tailback. Missed tackle. And he's tackled in the open field. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coke. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. Scott hands it off. And he's level at the 47. Gain of two. Yeah. 
Second from their own 47 yard line. 47 second yard. down. Florida State comes out with an eye formation. Gives it to the back. Jake's off attack. Still dragging guys. And they make the stop at the 40 yard line. I think this offensive line is getting better and better as the game goes along. And coach, I'll tell you what, I think they're killing the will of this defense. And I don't think they're done just yet. First and 10. Holland lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Going deep. And he got it. And he's all the way down to the six. As if things haven't been bad enough. Yep. This is pretty much like hitting salt to the wound. But we've seen this all game. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. They'll run the option. He's hit and got away. Touchdown. And they punch it in on the ground. And he's a good-looking player, and he's showing us why they wanted him so badly coming out of high school. Here's the kicking team to try the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. And there's a penalty on the play. Let's see who it's on. Holding on the offense. Ten yard penalty for repeating try. So they're ready for the extra point. And he hits the PAT. So under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And the score is Florida State 38, Boston College nothing. Jefferson ready to kick. Decent kick. Davis fields it at the two. You know who's trembling right now? Well, it's not the defense. They played well all game. They'll the start at the 20-yard line. First and 10. With the way the scoreboard looks, I suppose they thought, why not try a new quarterback? It's the fullback. They'll get him for a loss. This is a great example of how to defend the run. Here the fullback has nowhere, and I mean nowhere, to run. Yeah, nice job by these Second guys. They can be very sound defensively. Second and 11 coming up. Ball on the 19-yard line. Boston College sets up in the eye. Thomas back to throw. He throws it. He snags it, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball, and if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics, brought to you by Coke. The Eagle set up in the gun. Here's the give, and he tackles him hard at the 31-yard line. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. That guy's so big, Kirk, he doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the whole line down there. Yo! Second, We've got a second and 11. Ball on the, ball on the 31 yard line. The Eagles line up in an eye formation. Got some open field. And he is drilled at the 40 yard line. What spun this play was some pretty good blocking up front. They read the blitz and picked it up nicely. Defense! 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 
They're packed in tight on the line. They hand it off. Instead of running around the defenders, he ran right into them. I don't think it mattered if he ran left or right or over the top. They just lost the battle Four up front. Two. Ball on the line of yard. Put this one away. Taylor awaits the snap. He gets it away. Holland takes it to 28. He spins. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. So if I'm the coach, I'm telling my defensive lineman to get more pressure on that quarterback. Please. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. The Knolls go with the eye formation. Scott with a nice play fake. Here's the long ball, left side. And it's the senior. And he's tackled. Perfect time for the play action pass. Well, here the defense is looking for the run, and the play action put him in even a worse position. It just worked ready for the pass. The pressure turns up when in the red zone, and that's when you turn to Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters most. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. End zone! It's deflected. The ball got knocked down by the cornerback. Wow, that kid was on him like white on rice. Peanut butter on jelly, like flies on... E easy, Scooter. Take it easy. There are kids out there watching this game. EA Sports and Coca-Cola would like to congratulate today's Coke players of the game. Nice job. They line up in an eye. Scott, back to pass. Let's it go. They connect again. Wilson brings him down at the one-yard line. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, it was man-to-man -man defense, and it looked like the receiver just beat the cover man for the first down. It's first and goal. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. season, fellas. This is a very good run to get it into the end zone. Hey, that's his tenth touchdown of the season. That doesn't surprise me, folks. This kid's been in the end zone every single week. So they're ready for the extra point. the extra point. So we're down to just a few seconds remaining here in the ball game. And our score, Florida State 45, Boston College nothing. Florida State to kick this one off. He kicks it off. Davis fields it at the two. And that's the end of the game. What are your final thoughts on this game, Kirk? Well, it looks like we called this one right. Boston College didn't expect to win this football game, but they hoped to at least put a couple drives together and put some points on the board. That didn't happen because they ran into a defense that was completely dominant. Brad, they didn't even stand a chance to Well, it's been a pleasure bringing you this game. Again, our final score, Florida State 45, Boston College nothing. This is Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying thanks and so long.